Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply improper fractions and whole numbers. So how to work through a multiplication problem involving an improper fraction and a whole number. Now we go through any problem involving improper fractions the same way we do with proper fractions. We multiply straight across and look to simplify if possible. And it's as simple as that. Don't let the improper fractions hold you up. Improper fractions just have a value greater than one whole. If you're given a problem involving any improper fractions, that doesn't change the way we multiply. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have six times five halves. Now we need to multiply straight across and simplify if possible. Since we need to multiply straight across, we need to rewrite the whole number in fractional form. That way we have a numerator and denominator and we can multiply straight across. So let's rewrite that whole number six in fractional form. And we do that by putting it over one. We can rewrite any whole number in fractional form by putting it over one. We're not changing the value of that six. That fraction, six over one, still has a value of six times five halves. Now we can multiply straight across. Since we rewrote that whole number in fractional form, we have a numerator and a denominator. Let's start with the numerators. So six times five is 30. Now for the denominators, one times two is two. So we end up with 30 halves, 30 over two. But this is an improper fraction. So let's convert this to a mixed number. We do that by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So we have 30 divided by two. How many whole groups of two in 30? Well, 15 and we hit 30 exactly. We do not have a remainder. So this actually works out to be a whole number, not a mixed number. Again, because we don't have a remainder there. So six times five halves equals 15. Let's move on to number two, where we have nine sevenths times three. So let's rewrite this with the whole number in fractional form. That way we have a numerator and a denominator and we can multiply straight across. Let's start with the numerators. Nine times three is 27. Now for the denominators, seven times one is seven. So we end up with 27 sevenths, which is an improper fraction. So let's convert this to a mixed number. We divide the numerator by the denominator in order to do that. So 27 divided by seven, how many whole groups of seven in 27? Well, three whole groups, that gets us to 21. So we have a remainder of six. That's the numerator of our fractional part here. And then we keep the denominator of seven the same. We can always look to simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. Six sevenths is in simplest form. The only common factor between six and seven is one. So we are done. Three and six sevenths. Now, just for a quick recap, as far as how we went from that improper fraction, 27 sevenths to the mixed number three and six sevenths, I'll work this out by hand. So we did 27 divided by seven. How many whole groups of seven in 27? Well, three whole groups. That's the whole number part of the mixed number. Three times seven is 21. Subtract 27 minus 21 is six. So we get a remainder of six. That remainder is the numerator of the fractional part. And then we keep the denominator of seven the same. So there you have it. There's how to multiply improper fractions and whole numbers. Multiply straight across and simplify if possible. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.